Hey, Rapper Jake here. Today I'm joined by Mickey and Laura, and we are here inside of 317 Art Collective because there's some pretty exciting things that are going to be coming up. But before we dive into the event, what do you got going on, Mickey? Well, we're uh, celebrating the release of this. Uh, this is one of uh, one of my projects. Uh, album uh, the project is Evil Zenith. The album self-titled, and uh, great Laura right here did the uh, cover, and she was nice enough to to let me kind of mangle it in a few ways, but <laughs> the cover itself is pretty much as she did it. I've always loved this. I've got the mug that I drink a coffee out of <laughs> weekly, but um, so, you know, making music during a pandemic is quite strange and uh, music feels a little bit insignificant, but for us that create it, which I'm sure it's the same for the artists that are painting and whatnot, this is the things that's keeping us alive right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, in our hearts, of course, financially, maybe not so much, but, uh, <laughs> But it's still for the soul though yeah um, totally 100 percent. so um so it was really important to me we we did a few shows uh it's kind of a new project so um the it's me and uh drummer sketch patterson and uh, i've known the guy for 20 years so he's a great drummer he's got a cool style and and uh, i'm a drummer as well and i don't though i don't do drums on this but i've always uh loved his style and and he recently moved back to town and i wrote these songs specifically for him nice and uh we did a handful of shows and then you know everything stopped for everybody right um and after a few months i just thought this we need to you know we need to life has to move forward so we had a couple socially distanced recording sessions at my studio and and then just kind of plowed through and uh got everything all put together it, got it out and and now it's like you know so they they're starting to open back up a little bit we got a foot and a hand clawing out of the grave so <laughs> uh so, so it's like, time to, to launch the album totally so it's spring i'm feeling good the birds out you know the grass is green art scenes here feel like a little bit of rejuvenation and uh you know, this is celebrating the release of this and, and getting to hang with Laura and all the great artists here at 317. This just feels like a great way to start nice. the new season. So. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the event that's coming up, Laura. So, Art Scene is actually happening this year, which is great. And we knocked it back a few weeks uh, in hopes of better weather. So, it's going to be the 23rd and 24th, which is this Friday and Saturday. And we are personally open from 5 to 10, both days, or maybe 6 to 10. I can't remember what I wrote, but one of those. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, some people are open in slightly different hours. Some people close at 9. But um, the Arts Council has put out a one-page, like, uh, extra-large postcard-style um, map. And um, so you can pick those up at different places and, and walk around and visit the venues. Um, admissions free. Um and it's all ages, and we're gonna have a uh, Prairie Street's gonna do a nice uh, safety bar, and um, we have a show up in the gallery featuring our resident artists and our members at large, which uh, opened last month, but we decided to keep it up for art scene. Very and, cool. And um, then the band will be playing into the alley, so everyone can stand outside. Hopefully, it's nice out, and uh, have a nice socially distanced show so um it should be safe and fun and uh something that I, everybody needs to come out and enjoy yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, and so. i also want to add that um the last show i saw live before the shutdown was evil zenith and it was awesome so i highly player. recommend coming out <laughs> and seeing these guys because they kick butt very cool and so that's going on you said uh the album release party is when Friday night, so the 23rd, art scene's the 23rd and 24th, but we're on the Friday night, and uh, I'm saying 7 o'clock. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll do a listening party at 7, 7 to 7.30, and then we'll play the album live after that, 7.30 till whenever. Whenever, yeah, and, that's a good plan. Uh, yeah, and it, so far it looks like weather's going to be decent and, and warm enough, and it's all ages, is free, just wander in, bring the so. kids, roll them around, throw some ass <laughs> on them, <laughs> throwing up beers and juice boxes. Yep. And, yeah, have a nice day. So I think it'll be great. Sounds amazing. Well, thank you to you both so much for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, as I said, swing on downtown to 317 Art Collective on uh, Friday for the album release party and to check out all the art scene things. And if you can't make it Friday, still swing on through Saturday for art scene and uh, catch all the local artists here up at the collective. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to highlight local events like album release parties and local artists and all this wonderful positive stuff that's going on right here in the greater Rockford region and bring all this content to you for free through the pilot of the internet. So thank you so much to them. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. <laughs>